it's my first vlog of 2022. I'm at SeaTac, ready to hop on a plane. Um, I gotta stop my podcast. In case you're wondering, I'm listening to a new podcast. It is Sacred Scandal. It's about a murder at a Greek Catholic school. I just started it, so I don't really know my opinion yet, but it, it seems like it's gonna be really good. Anyway, I'm at um, SeaTac, ready to hop a plane because I am going on like a girl's trip with my cousin Kim. It's like our first trip as like grown ass people. <laughs> uh, because like, you know, all through our childhood we were tight. And then I graduated high school and shipped off to the Navy. And like the past 20 plus years, I've just been gone. So like this is, you know, our first opportunity to connect. So very excited. We are going to Louisiana. We're going to St. Francisville and we're gonna be staying at the Myrtles Plantation. And maybe we'll make a trip to NOLA and do some spooky stuff. plantation and since we've been here we've just been catching up and walking around the premises and we had dinner at their restaurant it's called 1796 that's when the mortals was built when it was first built it was called Laurel Grove and um, it was like later in the 1830s that it was renamed to the Myrtles. I haven't done much vlogging, so I thought I would talk to the camera. Kim just came in. Hello, Kim. Kim and I have adjoining rooms. I am in the William Sterling room. Kim is in the nursery. There are some stories about these rooms, but um, maybe we can talk about them tomorrow. But I just wanna give you like an overview of what the rooms look like, okay? My room is pretty simple. There's the bed, there's the adjoining door. I'm already in my pajamas. I got a fireplace. I had a bottle of champagne ready for Kim and I, and we enjoyed that when we walked around. And then I have this weirdo bathroom attached to my room. And then here's the closet. There's no light in there, but it's a pretty deep closet. And Kim does not have a bathroom in her room. Her bathroom is actually out here in the hallway. Here's what the hallway looks like. So the this portion of the house is the original house, the 1796. These are the original stairs. These are the original rooms. Okay. Kim's room is known as the nursery room. Cute little poster bed. She has a little alcove window. She has a cool deep closet too. So this is what she's working with. And Kim got us a bottle of wine. So we're just gonna get ready for bed and we're gonna chat. And um, we'll see if something happens tonight. I do think the more you research and the more stories that you hear over and over and over about a place, I think you like manifest these things in your mind and those things happen. Will things happen here tonight? I don't know, I've done a lot of research. Kim's done, done no research, right? Okay, um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what, 
I lost an earring. <gasps> that might be a thing. I don't know. We'll talk about it later. Chloe. <laughs> Let's walk around the floors and up and down the stairs. There came a knocking noise from within the closet. Sliding doors. A ghost. We are staying at around 3 a.m., which is the devil's hour, if you ask Ellen. Good morning. Good morning. So, Kim and I just had breakfast. We had grits and eggs and amazing biscuits and sausage. That was so good. The grits were so fluffy and made correctly with salt and butter. So, last night I want to show you guys. Kim and I were out here on the veranda the porch and these rocking chairs these two rocking chairs right here in the middle <clears throat> Kim was here and I was here and we were chatting just not even talking about anything important <clears throat> and we kept hearing like someone like or maybe it was like this on this window very weird. It happened like two or three times. But the thing is, no one is occupying these rooms. This, these rooms are like part of the tour, so they're locked. No one has access to them, but this was clearly like happening. It was like this, or it was like... That was the only thing that I really witnessed. Kim said she had a strange dream about a little kid playing with a doll in her room that was um like jumped onto the bed it woke her up was that generated from the stories that we heard on the tour her room is not associated with dolls there's totally another room here about that has like dolls all over it so i don't know kind of strange but um here, let me flip this around. Can you see in there? Okay, so this staircase, that is the staircase where William Winter died on the 17th step after being shot. Right here in the corner is the mirror that everyone sees spirits in. I went through here last night on the tour, but we weren't allowed to video and my phone died. So, I don't have any like footage of that or any pictures of those rooms. We're gonna spend the day in New Orleans. It's about an hour away. We made it to New Orleans and our first stop of the day is at Vessel. It's a restaurant um, inside an old Lutheran church Maybe you're familiar with this if you watch The Dead Files. So we're gonna go inside and hopefully have some bananas foster, maybe some coffee, maybe a cocktail. We are on our cemetery tour. Right now we are in St. Patrick number two, which is a cemetery that is still open to the public. Um, St. Louis number one, I would think, is like the most famous cemetery because Marie Laveau is there, but it is closed to the public and a bunch of others are as well because there is a lawsuit pending with the Catholic Church. It's too bad because I really wanted to go see Marie Laveau.
thinking I was gonna like cut my light off for the second night but then if something goes down and I try to grab my camera then you guys wouldn't be able to see it so I think I'm gonna leave my light on so tomorrow we're gonna wake up we're gonna get ready we're gonna go have breakfast then we head to the airport and we fly out Kim and I are on the same flight to Houston and then we both have like a long layover before we get on our flights home. Um, but we'll get to spend a couple more hours together at the airport in Houston. So that's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow. It is day three of the Myrtles. Last night, nothing happened. I mean, I woke up a couple times. I wouldn't open my eyes. <laughs> I asked him this morning if anything happened. Uh, she said no, but I think I would have known because our rooms are adjoined. And see where I am? I can like see her head through the door. <laughs> if something would have happened, I would have heard <laughs> her. So an uneventful Day at the Myrtles. So we're gonna put some bras on and we're gonna go to breakfast. These stairs are so steep. I'm outside and it's our last day I thought I would give you sort of like a tour or some information about the Myrtles so Kim and I were staying in the original part of the house that was built in 1796 so the left side of this door over is the original 1796 this part of the house over was like 1834-ish. The Sterlings built this part. Um, so what's interesting is that like they they like cut you off completely from the other guests. So if you're in this wing, you have access to that door with your key, and there are four rooms upstairs. I'm not exactly sure how many rooms are over here. But this portion, you get in by this door because this is like where they start the tours. You don't have access to any of these rooms here because this is where they give the tours. And that's like the game room, the ladies parlor, the gentlemen's parlor, the dining room. There's like, a, I think it's called the French room. But yeah, so cool. This is the general store, and this is where we had some breakfast. And there are some ducks. Okay, this is the restaurant 1796. These are the garden rooms, I believe. I think these are like more like family type rooms like an Airbnb where you have like a living room, bedroom, maybe like a little dinette. So here's another family style option. And then they have one, two, three, four little cabins, all with like rocking chairs on the porch. So cute. In its heyday, the plantation's heyday, um, pretty sure they grew indigo 
and cotton. And I think they expanded the acreage three times and the largest was like 6,000 acres. So that's huge and that's definitely not what we're seeing here. I don't know, I think you can rent this out, but this is the caretaker quarters. This is the back side of the general store and where we had breakfast. There's another little view of the house. The veranda of the original house built in 1796. This is our side. We're not allowed up there. Although Kim, Kim went up there last night, breaking the rules, taking pictures. <laughs> I have to analyze those pictures to see if there's anything in them. So this is the front of the Myrtles, the one everyone takes pictures of. I would assume back in the heyday, this would be the front entrance. Possibly? So that's what the property looks like. There's a man over there blowing the leaves. Sorry. Just walking out a little bit so I can look up at the other windows on top. And nothing spooky. I didn't feel anything. I didn't hear anything. I didn't see anything. Well, I guess Kim and I heard the little um, the knocking on those windows when we were sitting on the porch. Oh, and then there's a story that Chloe, one of the ghosts, likes to take people's earrings. Only one earring, because one of her ears got cut off, right? So I did lose an earring and I haven't been able to find it. Not very much of a tour guide, but I tried to explain all the things. <laughs> so I'm just gonna um, get ready for the day, make sure my luggage is all packed, and then we're gonna head out to the airport. Kim and I made it to the Baton Rouge airport on time today, <laughs> but our, our plane is delayed, at least by two hours. So we, we're making the best of it, yo. We've, we've got, we've got, got some cheese fries, some chicken tendies. And ranch. And ranch. <laughs> and we're just waiting it out. So I think, by the time Kim gets to Houston, she has to book it to her flight. And then my connecting flight is delayed. So um, we'll get to where we need to be eventually. But for now, we're gonna eat some fries and some chicken tendies, yeah! We made it. Three hour delay, but we made it. Cheers! Many months later. I'm interrupting the programming. This is present day Renee coming at you in my work from home attire. Of course, Kim and I got back. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure Kim made it home before I did with all the airline delays. I got home about like one in the morning. But that was way back in January, you guys. I was going through and editing the vlog and I noticed that I don't have some information that Kim shared with me through messages. So one night she went out on her own and explored the grounds and she did a little creeping around and took some pictures and maybe in places she wasn't supposed to. And she might have captured something. So I just wanna share that with you guys and you can look at it and um, you can come up with your own explanations, possibly. I'm gonna put up a series of four pictures, okay? And this first picture, this is like um, the second addition to the home that was like built in 1830s when the winters took over the plantation and the staircase in the picture, that's where uh, Mr. Winters uh, was shot, well, he was shot outside. He came up the stairs, he died on the stairs from the gunshot. Um, so I want you to pay attention to like the entry doors and the square in the middle of the entry doors that isn't frosted, okay? Now here's picture number two. 
please still pay attention to the unfrosted window. Um, you will notice on the floor, there's a reflection from the chandelier. That is not what we're looking at here. We're still paying attention to the unfrosted window in the door. Okay, so here's a third picture. That reflection from the chandelier is gone. Um, but still, pay attention to the unfrosted window. And I wanna say that these pictures were taken like one after the other. Kim was standing on the opposite side of the home where there's like um, mirroring doors and she can like put the phone up and take pictures. Here is the fourth picture. It's a little bit maybe zoomed in more, but please pay attention to the unfrosted window. And just so you know, on the other side of those doors in the unfrosted window, there's like a big wraparound porch. That's the front of the house. Okay, guests are not allowed on the porch, or if they are allowed, it makes it seem like you're not allowed because they have like ropes um, at the top of the stairs. Okay, so what do you, what do you see uh, in this series of pictures? Because uh, something clearly stands out to me. And based on how Kim took the pictures, she's not, she's not moving her position. And I don't think that's a reflection of Kim from way across the other side of the house. The trip was great, you guys. And I am so glad that Kim and I uh, made the time to get together and to do something cool like this. But that's it for this vlog, guys. We love and we miss you all and we'll see you in the next vlog.